Hey there YouTube, I'm Yukitsu, this is the Yukitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome to a bit of a new game here, it's um, what is this, it's Factoria? Factorium? Factorio, something like that. I've always been bad with suffixes, so uh, anyway, this is a new game-ish, it's in beta or alpha or something-ish uh, like that, and it's a game about building a base and uh, not dying to the aliens, which is always, in my opinion, the preferable way of going about things, not dying to the aliens. But sometimes, you know, you don't have a choice and they murder you horribly anyway. Now, uh, what we're doing here is we've got a bit of a base set up here. And uh, we've got a lot of things going along pretty nicely. Uh, I just want to up steel production quite a bit here so that we can get um, a lot more of that going on. Since we are going to be churning through quite a bit of this stuff. Uh, may as well top off all of these as well. Oh, that one's running on wood. Well, why not? All right. So yeah, this game, basically you just build a factory and it uh, produces things. And you use those things to make other new things. And you use those things to go into this machine where it disappears into a void and makes you smarter. For no discernible reason whatsoever. So we're actually going to build another science lab here. So yeah, that's pretty much the point of the game. And uh, as you go further along the logistics chain to figure out how to actually build any crap, gets much more complex. So uh, right now we've got fairly basic things going on for us. And that's good because I'm going to just end up like in a terrible, terrible state pretty soon. Now then, um, oh good, we finished that. Let's learn how to make steel processing. Or not make steel processing, let's learn how to make steel. So anyway, yeah, uh, that's pretty much the point of this game is to try and figure out all of that sort of stuff, which is uh, the sort of game that I like. It's one of those sort of logistics uh, city builder sort of games. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and build more crap. Let's get these rails up here. So yeah, like most of this game is figuring out where to put your little uh, conveyor belts so that they are going properly along to wherever the hell it is they need to go. And uh, that they're all doing the right kind of work. So that's the gist of this game. It's pretty simple all in all, but uh, there's definitely a lot to it that gets pretty complex pretty quickly if you don't happen to be some sort of organizational genius, which I'm not because I hate organizing things. But I, I do like, for some reason, these sorts of games. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on making ourselves more researchy. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so at the start of this game, you have to hand make everything. Uh, once you get a couple of those machines, that took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. Once you get some of these machines like this up, they'll start producing uh, you know, whatever the hell it is you're making uh, for you automatically, which is really, really useful um, because you do end up having to make quite a lot of things. Okay, there we go. Put that there. And... There we go. So steel, iron, probably the most prevalent thing that you're going to end up building. You use up tons of the damn stuff, so it's a good idea to have lots of it. Let's see here. My gear production is still exceeding usage with these two things. Do I need any gears for my this thing factory? I need to start making a green potions as well, science pack 2. Uh, for that, you need to combine a transport belt and an inserter. And, um, god damn it. Stop learning so quickly, me. Yeah, electronics, that'll take a little while. So yeah, um, we'll need some more assembling machines. But uh, what the hell do we need to make this? We need an electric circuit and then the iron gear wheel. And to make the electric circuit, we need iron plates and copper cables. So uh, what we can do here is we can start moving this. Well, actually, we're going to want to be able to make one more red thing factory, so... Uh, we'll do that first. And uh, we need a couple inserters. And where's that red one? There it is. And you will make reds got pretty much just enough space. We've got a little bit of wiggle room over here, but that's somewhere where we can put electrical poles or whatever. Okay, so now that uh, that's sort of at the maximum that we can fit there, 
what we can do is we can loop around with our transport belts and we can nope actually that's a that was a mistake I need to go one further first okay there we go now it's not gonna spill over there Okay, so we'll make a copper cable belt over here, which we can do over here. Now this one will be the... Uh... Okay, so what we can do with the gears is I think we can actually make the transport belts on it with the uh, gear. Yeah, it's an iron plate and an iron gear, actually. Okay, so now we need two things, so we'll move that somewhere else. We'll move it over to here. Oh, this gets complex. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll move this over here, and this thing will take in um, things from both sides, and we'll output with the red, so that way it's uh, putting... Hmm. It'll put the product over here, which is what we want, I guess. Okay. Oh, the power poles. Alright, so this one we want to make the wire, and that gets put down, okay, we'll move this down actually. Wire is only one ingredient, so this is fairly simple to make. Gears, you are going to make transport belts. Okay, and we'll let that sit for just a second while we figure out what we need to do next. I'm worried that we're not going to have enough gears in production with that, but let's go over here and start making copper cable as well. And you'll need a belt back here. Like that. Oh no, that finished already. Uh, you, since you're not that complex, apparently. Okay, so we've got the wires coming out. Uh, I think that should be enough wires for now. So let's get this all organized here in our brains, in our brain meats. Let's just steal some of this while we're at it. Actually, I'm going to go gather some resources from uh, a secondary place that I've got. I've actually uh, set up a couple areas, like this place is where I've got the main sort of industry going, but I've actually also got uh, my power generators over here, and I actually started off over on this side, and the reason that I did that was just that I had uh, a pl place where I could go to get resources um, at the start, where I could have these useless machines that would become obsolete really quickly, and uh, just not have to worry about where they were, so... Those are all fine as is. We'll want to increase our electrical output as well pretty soon, but uh, that's fine. Okay, so we need to make another assembling machine. And uh, what we're going to do with that assembling machine is we're going to start moving it this way. Which means that we can also start bringing these in this way. Okay, so they can go like that. And that way both of those will be sort of together. We can then have this over here, but I don't really want it... Well, you know, that's, that's not too bad. Okay, so we can put it over here. And it's not covering very much coal that way. And uh, let's see here. Now the output for this is not going to be great because I've sort of cramped everything together instead of... Uh, having it sort of nicely spread out and having enough room to make multiples of each machine. But like, as you can see, this is going to actually work. This will work okay. Do I need to actually have another red going? I might have to have another red going. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Uh... Well, it seems like it's going a little bit at the very least, so... Okay, so this needs the... This doesn't need there at all, actually. I can just skip right to uh, red. 
So they can grab those. I'll need a splitter to send regular iron over to here as well, so... Let's uh, start building some of these. We'll build ourselves... Actually, I'll, I'll show you guys a shortcut if you don't want to build splitters. I don't really like them for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, we're gonna just go ahead and get a puller. Or an inserter, rather. And uh, it's gonna move stuff this way. Okay, and we can get our inserter over here. Hmm, how annoying. Okay, let's get this uh, power pole up here. Yeah, no, I did beat, beat that. Okay, there we go. And this is going to produce electronic circuits, which is perfect. Okay, so I need to output these electronic circuits. I'll put them out this way. And uh, I need to move this along this way. And... Okay, so that will be those two products moving along, which are... what I need almost to make this. I need to transform those things into inserters, which require... Iron plates, iron gear wheels, and electronic circuits, so... Let's just take some of these. Now, did I have the underground built? Yes, I did. Okay, so we need to build a couple of those. Underground built basically lets us uh, take the input from here, so these guys will continue along that way. And uh, we can continue up to a specific distance here, but we can't go all the way across, as you can see. So what we're going to have to do is probably, not that then, uh, let's see. Well, we could use the arms again, that would potentially work. But how do I want to do this? I might just want to move these, uh, this science machine in particular. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm just going to have the uh, science machine swing in the other direction, which is easy enough. Okay, there we go. That'll halt our research for a little bit, but that's fine. And uh, we'll take out these power poles as well. So everything's pretty simple and easy to remove if you uh, feel like you want to change something. Alright, so... And, uh, we can just chop down some of these trees as well. There we go. I still want it uh, facing the sort of general area so that I can get the greens to them pretty easily as well, but as you can see, I'm sort of building all the stuff for the greens towards this area as well, so that will make things pretty simple. One of the things I see some people do in this game is like they make a ton of uh, potion things, so they are making like a million red things and a million green things and a million whatever things, and uh, you don't really need that many to progress your technology uh, pretty quickly, so. Like, this'll go fine. Alright. So once that comes down the line, this'll start up as well, I think. Let's just make sure. Yep. Okay. Good. Don't know why this is not actually researching, though. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, optics. Okay, so uh, let's see, now that we've got these uh, gears potentially coming up the right way, I would love that if they were coming up the right way. Okay, so let's do it like this. There we go. get those gears up this way and um, let's see well we're gonna have to do a, another uh, underground I think shouldn't be a problem okay so let's uh, get these going this way and let's get this up this way okay need another factory yet again. So many factories over not here. Um, I need it 
like here, I think. There we go. All right. Oh God, why is everything researched so quickly? Like I said, this is why I was saying you don't really need too much of the stuff. All right, there we go. You are going to make right crap. Okay, so uh, we need to make one of these. Fortunately, that upgrades our old existing one into the new thing. Just have to wait till we make it. Okay, so good. We can now build this, and this is going to be our thing that makes uh, inserters. Okay, so that's making that now, as you can see, or it's going to. I just have to get the iron plates up to there as well, damn it. Okay. Actually, no, I was going to bring iron plates up from somewhere else. As you can see, like, these, this part takes a long time to set up, like, stupid green potions thing. It's a very, very involved blah, but I should actually also grab some resources while I'm at it. And maybe actually see what the hell I've been researching. Watch, like, something else is going to pop up pretty soon. It's being done, we're going to end up with a huge accumulation of red potions. Let's grab some of those coal as well. Yep, there we go. Let's learn armor crafting. I guess we can make ourselves a shotgun now. May as well. Why not? Alright. Let's build this here, get the most out of the area. You can always move it once that we finish off the whole a lot of it, so there we go. God damn it. All right, so actually, we don't need any more there. Uh, let's go ahead and build our smelters. Inserters. Even though we're factory producing inserters now, it's a little bit more convenient for me to just do it this way. Okay. You. You. Right. Also, probably just go grab those off the belt, but whatever. Alright, you. These to go up this way. There we go. And this way. Okay, so that's the inserters being done. Let's actually just turn this. convenient. All right, that'll work. Now then, what the hell did I need for the last step? It was just transport belts and inserters, so I can actually use a regular assembly machine instead of the complex one. Perfect. Okay, I don't want those belts actually adjacent to one another, so we'll put this one here. Got plenty of transport belts, I can just grab them from there. And I need another set of inserters. Uh oh, I'm out of iron. Let's grab these while I'm at it. Okay. That'll go there. This we will put here? No, let's put it more like here. My uh, pickaxe broke, so let's build another one real quick. Okay. There we 
go. Actually, uh, we'll put this somewhere else. Put this just up here. It's a little bit more convenient. There we go. And we need a red inserter as well, so. Okay, you now making greens. Perfect. And that's going to go along nicely. So we'll have that conveyor belt moving alongside here as well. And, uh, let's get it going in there. Let's actually do it like that, I think. Okay. Not everything's sort of set up approximately. You can go like this. Simple. Have this flip out of there. And just have to power everything. There we go. Okay, greens starting to accumulate. Okay. And uh, we'll want to increase our green production just as much so that we've got to. Uh, Let's see, we've got three red, so we'll want three green, I guess, as well, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to keep up production with that all that effectively. Maybe. Anyway, let's uh, get this going. Fortunately, we're not using them yet, so that'll let them stockpile up a little bit, but I don't necessarily want them stockpiling up too much. I could also have used a higher level assembly machine so that it was producing them faster rate, but, you know, whatever. Hmm. Okay, I need to extend this out a little bit, and this out a bit. Perfect. And... Oh no. God damn it. Okay. And this is basically the majority of the game. It gets much more complex the further on you go, but uh, the actual essence of what you're doing stays pretty much the same. I like it quite a bit, since uh, it sort of is a good way to ease you in these sort of building games. It's got a very natural feeling progression system. Okay. It looks like we can probably work on expanding uh, one more green and also one more science facility to the south, so we'll do that. Uh, we need a lot more iron though. Let's go check on our little sub base that we just have for picking up iron. Oh, and our coal hopper here is out. There we go. How are you guys all doing? Uh, let's top you off. Let's top you off, definitely. And these I don't really care about, actually. Got plenty of uh, copper, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Electricity seems to be fine. Yeah, and it uh, looks like we definitely can build yet another assembly machine, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if there's any sort of um, breaks in the production cycle. Let's see here. I could probably actually do with another gear manufacturing system. Looks like we're going through quite a lot of gears. No, we're not. We're actually stacking them up slowly. This blue machine goes through things really quickly. It seems to be a very efficient worker. Let's see here. Copper wire seems to be a little bit behind, but it seems to be... No, it seems to be pretty much keeping pace, so I don't need to worry too much about that, it seems. Yeah, no, it's almost exactly optimal there. That's perfect. It's just that this asshole green machine is just ridiculous, or this blue machine, assembling machine, is uh, ridiculously fast. And then it gets bottlenecked here. So, okay, so that's, that's how to deal with that. Okay, so this might make uh, the system break down a little bit, but let's get this going here. Um, 
these, I guess. Oh, crap. Um, let's just get... Um, well, we can actually get greens now, so we can start researching more advanced things. Let's learn oil processing. It's what we need for oil, obviously. Okay, so let's get rid of that. You will also be working on greens. There we go. And there we go. It's voila, or something like that. I don't really know. Okay. And uh, we also wanted to build more science. Because that is definitely how science works. Okay. Might even want to build one more after this. Mass producing science facilities would be a bad idea because I don't need quite that many. Alright, there we go. Perfect. That's working along pretty well. I am actually going to go ahead and look for uh, resources over here yet again, see if I can get another for one more science facility. Ah, uh, no, this is actually going to be fine, I think. Fine for now. We'll say it's fine for now. After this, uh, we're going to have to start working about worrying about oil processing, which is another fairly engaging process, but let's just build batteries and stuff like that. How's our electrical needs? Electrical demand satisfaction is like 50%. We need to get some more um, electricity going on here. Okay, so we'll need another one of those, two more steam engines, and four more boilers, which is how we'll do this. Not actually sure if we need four boilers. We might only need three, but I've always built four for two, just in case. Okay, that, we need four arms, I think I only built three, there we go. You can always do with more inserters, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so boilers, thought I built four of you. Alright, well let's build one more boiler. I thought I built one less of you. Oh well. Okay, so all those are going to get going pretty soon. Just have to get a power pole over to here. Got to use power to make power. Alright. Now how's our power consumption? It is now 100% satisfied. Perfect. And that means that we can now start wasting our resources on more science. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think I am going to want to build another gear producer. Um, we might also need to build another wire producer. No, it seems like we're barely keeping pace here. So that should be okay. We are running ahead on potions, though, so... We will go ahead and do that. Just as long as we don't increase potion production, we should be fine. Uh, now, building one more might end up us, with us um, running out, but uh, it looks like we're okay. Goodness, these take a long-ass time to build. So as you can see, like oil processing takes way longer than the previous stuff that I was learning did, but worth it, I think. Gives us more stuff to build. Okay. There we go. And uh, yeah, that should be just about everything that we're going to want to have set up for now. Oil processing is researching pretty well. Looks like we're keeping ahead on all both colors of potions. We'll want to get blues and then we'll start building a track down here and we'll have to delete this guy since we won't be able to get the blues to this guy, but that means that we should sort of look towards the south for our uh, petrol needs 
And there's fortunately a little bit of oil over here. Unfortunately, it's just one little splotch. Hmm. So where should we go to get our oil from? It looks like there's a lot over here. Uh, quite a bit. Three blobs. Yield 846%, 721%. Those are pretty high percentages because I did set that to high because I didn't want to have to deal with constantly looking for more oil. But that's because I'm lazy, so, you know, whatever. Okay, so we'll probably just start with that one down to the south. That actually is quite a bit of oil that we'll be able to get from it. Um, we'll check down here to see what this oil field looks like. There's a really, really big one that we might be able to pipe, um, start a pipe project for, but... Uh, yeah, just a couple over here as well. What about over here? I mean, like, this looks like it theoretically could be quite a lot of oil. Yeah, this is where all the oil is. Hmm, it's quite far away. There's, looks like there's a closer one to the north, but I kind of want it to be there south. We'll start with the little puddle just uh, to get us started, and then we'll hook it up to other pipelines. Even if we have to bring that pipeline around from uh, who Lord knows where, so... Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's a quick look at Factorio. It's just uh, a pretty interesting game, I think. It's not necessarily the most uh, rapid-paced one, or exciting one necessarily, but I like it, so that's why we're playing it. Alright, so it uh, looks like we're also going to have to hook up something for our electricity generation. Uh, we're running ahead of our, our coal consumption, um, which is not necessarily a good thing. We don't want to get too far ahead of that. All right, let's grab all those. We'll actually make this one electrical powered just because. There we go. It means by the power station it might as well be. Hmm. Okay, there we go. And there we go. bit of oil there too, but uh, I don't uh, think it's in the right place for us. Oops. Alright. There we go. So that should help us uh, completely satisfy all our coal needs. Go. Yeah, that ought to do it. You can see that some of our burners were starting to go out because uh, we didn't have enough fuel. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty big influx, so that should be fine. We'll want to start uh, supplementing that with uh, solar energy anyway pretty soon, but it'll take a little while before we can research that. Uh, anyway, that's going to be enough for now. We've got quite a bit done here now that we've got these uh, dual lines feeding into all these sci science labs. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you found this enjoyable. It's a pretty interesting game. Um, but, uh, yeah, give it a shot if you want to. It's uh, got a free demo, so try out the demo if you like it. But, uh, anyway, I hope you found this enjoyable. And, as always, I hope to see you all next time.